stare into your soul. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. So in the last episode, we made it here to the Fiery Plains or something like that. It's, it's some equivalent to that. And I said we were going to go into the... Uh, into the laboratory here, but two episodes ago when I posted it, I got a comment telling me I got an item that I needed to use. It is the dog residue. Dog item, dirty dishes left by un unwashed by a dog. Use the dog residue. The rest of your inventory is filled up with dog residue. Yep, okay, that person was telling me the truth. Hey, uh, travel I care for a ride? Yes, I do want to ride in the boat. Where will we go today? We'll be going back to Waterfall. Then we're off. So, the purpose behind this is a bit of grinding. Apparently, you can sell all the dog residue. tra la, -la Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Apparently, you can sell these, and as long as you keep one in your inventory or in the box, you can keep doing it over and over and over again. Come again sometime, tra la, -la. So, on that note, let's drop a dog residue in there. And, uh, the snowman piece. And I'm just gonna sell both of these and, uh, keep this trick going for a while. Whoa there, I got some neat junk for sale. Ha! I'm trying to get rid of my junk- Oh, right, yeah, you can't sell to this guy. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you then. Um, I don't know exactly. Maybe over here? Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna find where that is. Oh, wait, yeah, I was on the right path. Cool. I'm pretty sure it's right down here. It has been a few weeks since I've last recorded. I was having some things going on in my life. I've been working a bit more now. And, um, so yeah, I'm making that cash money. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry. Hoi! Welcome to the temp shop! Alright, let's sell everything. Whoa! You got the C- CTs! Hmm, I have to get- I got to have that CTs, but I gotta pay for college. Hmm. Tim always wants CTs. Yeah! <laughs> that face, though. Tim Flakes. Whoa! You got the Tim Flakes! Hm, I got to have that Tim Flakes, but I got to pay for college. Uh, okay. Then, I will not be showing the rest of this. You get the idea. Rinse and repeat. Use the dog residue. The rest of your inventory is filled up with dog residue. Dog salad? What? Dog salad heals mystery HP, recovers HP, hit poodles. Wait, why would I hit a poodle? And why are these all worth different amounts? I'm confused. Um, I'm very confused here. You got the dog residue. Hmm, I got to have that dog residues, but I got to pay for college. Hmm, Tam always wanted dog residues. No, but, but, P, eight, sure? Yeah, why not? All right, after doing this for a little bit. Hoi, welcome to Temp Shop. College Temp pers and pursue higher education. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's a lot of months. Can Tem really accept? Okay, Tems go to college and make you proud. Why is his face still here? Tim back from Cool Egg. Tim wore many fins. Learn to sell new item. Yeah, yeah. Oi, welcome to the Tim shop. 
armor 20 defense makes battle too easy. Oh! Um... Oh. I will not buy this now. I will buy one of these because I can. And I'm done here. Well, actually, about Temi Armor. Temi Armor, so goods any battle become an easy victories. But, hmm, Tem think if you use armor, battles would be a. Ch w wouldn't be a challenge anymore. But Tem has a solution. Tem will offer a scholarships. If you lose a lot of battles, Tem will lower the price. So if you get to the tough battle and feel frustrated, can buy Tem Armor at last, last resort. But Tem Armor, so goods promise to only buy if you really need it. Okay, then now that that's a thing, now that we've done that, if there's a point in the game that we cannot win no matter what we do, then we head there and we do that. Use the box, yeah, sure. Um, Snowman piece stays with us. I'll leave the dog residue in there since I don't need it. I don't really need any of those items now that I think about it. Also, I'm using my keyboard now because my con my controller is being a huge pain. Before I do anything, though, you feel something. You're filled with determination. I forgot about that pun. All right, back to the fiery place of hell. And we're back here at the Hotlands. So let's go into the laboratory. We're just getting right into it and... TV! 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 Oh, Tilly! Sorry. I'm on TV! It's too dark to see near the walls. It's you? Oh, Tilly! <laughs> Sorry, I, I know that's kind of weird. It's too dark to see near the walls. That's nowhere near the wall, but okay. Hi. Oh, my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and... Um... Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys, I'm Asgore's royal scientist, but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Uh, actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um been observing your journey through my console. Is it blushing? It's blushing, and also, I... Those are the cameras! I knew there had to be something about those cameras, and this... Is it a guy or... I'm gonna say it's a girl. This chick has been friggin' spying on me. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally gonna stop you, but... Watching someone on screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Mm. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. <laughs> you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-human anti combat features? <laughs> oh, of course, I saw you coming and immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Did you hear something? Yes, I did. That's my answer. Oh no. Oh yes! Welcome beauties! To today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestants. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. 
answer correctly. Or you die. Metaton attacks. Um. I'm just gonna check it out. Metaton attack 30, defense 255. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the price for answering correctly? More questions? Right, sounds like you get it! The quiz show continues. Uh, here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Uh, Asgore Dreamer. Correct, what a terrific answer! The quiz show continues. Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Metal and magic, sugar and spice, shit, snips and snails, hopes and dreams. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A, train B, someone to part of the station. Uh, this one. Wrong, wrong, wrong! Oh no. I'm a cry. Screaming is against the rules. Don't count your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Fifty-two! Have we utterly wrong? It halves my HP each time? Screaming is against the rules. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Oh, that's a uh, frogger. Frog it. Boy, that's a. Oh, that's cheating! You eat the Tammy Flakes, you recover 2 HP. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah. Great answer, I love it! <laughs> what? That's it. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Monoton? No, no, no! Can't you read? Uh, that's that's cheating, right? Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie was Mew Mew's favorite food. Oh, I know this one. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavored, and she's the only one who wants the one of the favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship. And, uh. Alphys, Alphys, Alphys! You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. What does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Undyne? Yes! See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. <laughs> I got it! Even the human figured it out. She, she, yes, she scrolls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Fan fiction. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. <laughs> well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but... But, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, and more bloodshed. Until next time, darling. Oops. Well, that was certainly something. That last question, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. Aw, that's cute. Um, it's really cute, actually. It's a bathroom sign. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could, uh... What? Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! Wait a second, please. 
someone just scream? Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting and items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to the bathroom. Um, dimensional box. Oh my, yes! I have so much room now! Uh, Toriel. Dialing. Nobody picked up. I was hoping. A lab? My brother would love that! He loves science fiction, especially when it's real! I think that's just... Okay. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. The beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Seems like the notes the notes is something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. Seems like a walkthrough to a game or It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Uh, I wonder does Nah, probably not. Alphys probably doesn't have the walkthrough to this game. A garbage can, but it's pretty cute. So what, like me? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I need to step outside for a moment to heal. Because, ow, that hurt. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Now that I'm all healed up and whatnot, I can head back in. And I probably cannot walk up this, right? Nope. It's a video feed of your location. Well, it's kind of weird that Alphys is watching me all this time. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Okay, I guess I'll head over here. Well, I don't want to go through there yet. Let's head upstairs. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book, it's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. For some reason, I wonder why pink goop drips from the strange machine. It looks like Alphys' work at this table seems dusty. Okay. The wardrobe was full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a, it's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. Wait, 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 wait. I remember sending letters, right? Someone was sent... Doggo and a few other people said they were sending letters to someone. But I thought they said it was they were sending to Undyne. Maybe they're sending it to Alphys, and Alphys just didn't read it, but I'm gonna take it that Alphys is interceiving, like, all everyone's mail to Undyne, so that no competition. That's how I'm taking it. A lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. No light bulb. Incredible invention. When not in use, this bed falls into an extremely easy to draw box. You clever son of a... It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Okay. Then... I guess I've done everything in here thus far. Whatever. I'm heading out! I'm heading out! Oh! Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Sad face. Alpha's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Happy face. Alpha's updated status. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. 
cat happy face. Okay, well, she hasn't called yet. By going to battle, Vulcan strolls in. I'm gonna encourage. You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job, but attacks become extreme. Ah, ah doing it's my best! Ow. Vulcan parades around you proudly. You earned 40 gold. Alpha Septate's desk. Gonna call them in a minute. Happy cat face. I'm confused why they're on different things. Whatever. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Alpha Septate's desk. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this, Lameo. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not forcing you to. Sundra Point gets in the way, not on a purpose. <laughs> Rent. <laughs> Am I having to fight a Sundra Plane? Is this a thing? I'm gonna flirt. You tell Sundra Point it has an impressive wingspan. Huh? Y you sicko! Ow, ow. Okay. Accidentally bumps into you with its wing. You get close to Sundra Plane, but not too close. Eh? Human? Oh. Looks over and then turns up its nose. You get close to Sundra Plane, but not too close. Eh? Human? I understand now. Sundra Plane accidentally bumps into you with, with its wing. You won, you earned zero experience and 60 gold. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Alpha Septate's desk. OMG, I've had my call over the last digit for five minutes. OMG, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Ring, ring. Click. Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. Okay, actually, I'm gonna head back down here because there's another path. I believe that's the correct way. Is this just an incorrect path, or what? Yes. Oh, crap, there was actually something down there. Alright. I also like how jazzy this is. All paths apparently lead there. There's a frying pan lying on the ground. Will you take it? Yeah, sure. You got the burnt pan. I don't understand. Oh, okay. It changed its direction. I didn't realize that. Okay. What? No, I didn't mean that. Okay. I guess that's everything I can do there. And now I'm heading up. Or at least I would be, but next time on Let's Play Undertale, we're going to be moving on. I have no idea if this one's been long, but I think it's been like 25 minutes. So let's hope so and say that it's good. Guys, I hope you're liking this because the Hotland seems really like techno and I love that kind of thing. See you guys then.